Hello everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. So now that more people are on food stamps than ever before, more people will be using food stamps for their Thanksgiving dinner than ever before. Now this is about 42.2 million Americans. And if this isn't enough, as if it wasn't enough that we spent $72 billion on food stamps last year, we still have to advertise our Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program to incoming immigrants instead of first focusing on getting them some decent employment. Now, yes, George Bush started this advertising campaign in partnership with Mexico back in 2004, but we still have consulates in Mexico handing out information to Mexican nationals with information on how to collect welfare, disability, and other taxpayer-funded benefits in America. I mean, we run Spanish-speaking ads in Mexico with information on how immigrants can collect food stamps. There are even various government websites on how to collect all these benefits. Immigrants also get a welcome package with all this information when they come into the country. So why do we still give them all this welfare application information before we get them jobs, or before they even come into the country? Now as hard as it might be, particularly with the recent jobless claims reports, focus on getting them employment first and then put them on welfare if needed. But that's the problem. It's hard enough right now for already unemployed American citizens to find work. So, I mean, why are we trying to get more people to come in? I mean, we spent $1 trillion in overall welfare spending this year, and we can't start getting people off food stamps until unemployment goes down. But that's the other problem. The idea of taking away food stamps is viewed as a bad thing. Because of rising grocery prices and a poor economy, food stamps is viewed as a mandatory crutch for Americans. And the economy is poor because we're spending too much on things like welfare. You are viewed as evil if you have any ideas of trying to remove this mandatory crutch. You see, we're snowballing. Literally a snowball in hell. I mean, 42.2 million people on food stamps. That's about the population of both California and Connecticut combined. In this past election, we voted for an obvious growing welfare state over possible economic recovery. And everyone is talking about immigration reform. I mean, we need welfare reform first. We need to quit pushing the applications for food stamps and start displaying more of an emphasis on application for jobs. If we can't get them a job with a reasonable income, then we take them through the process of receiving welfare benefits. I mean, it does, doesn't make any sense to praise it and advertise it, not just to those that haven't applied for some kind of employment, but to those who haven't even applied for citizenship yet. I mean, we kind of even glamorize the whole food stamp process anymore by making them gift cards with a certain balance and then call it an electronic benefits transfer or an EBT card.